Hello, my name is LJ Bothell and this is a short introduction to me. I am an instructor who's been teaching for eight years and I'm studying for a master's in education so I can expand my teaching. I've taught at Shoreline Community College and at Seattle Central Community College. And this is a, a brief introduction to me so that you can feel more comfortable about working with me in online courses, especially since it can be kind of an interesting prospect when you can't um, meet the instructor in person or see him or her from day to day. First, a little bit about me. I'm from Seattle, Washington. I love uh, Starbucks. I love animals. I really like traveling. Been all sorts of places from Hawaii, New Orleans, Canada, Italy, France, and I have a long list of places I still want to go. Uh, my education includes a Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Arts from the University of Washington, an AAS in Print Graphic Design, and then I followed that up with a Certificate in Web Design and a Certificate in Web Development. And I've used all of that in the workplace in permanent, temporary, contract, and pro bono work in a variety of different business places like communications, healthcare, and so on. So um, I have a lot that I bring to teaching and I try to always keep a practical real world view on everything that I share with students and that I try to pack into my classes. My core mission and values with teaching is that I really feel it's a privilege. It's something I really enjoy doing and that's why I'm getting a master's in it as well so I could teach even more. Currently I've done a lot of vocational um, related teaching and I'd like to be able to do additional academic teaching. I love working with folks. I love sharing information. I love organizing it and opening new doors and discussing things with students. Um, and my mission for teaching includes providing current skills training for a competitive workplace, um, trying to help folks find doors that are open for them and to better their own skills so they can get those job opportunities and school opportunities and all the things that they want. I try to encourage professional workflow and communication techniques in my classes and I just want to help students have the chance to prepare um, and do as well as they can in whatever their chosen path is as well as to, to uh, open doors as to what some of those paths can be. Basically, I really hope folks will enjoy learning as much as I do. I don't like be being bored and I really try not to be a boring instructor to others. Um, I try to be open to videos and links and resources to hands-on sort of work as well as backup um, links and information to help you research and get tutorials on your own. Um, I focus on universal design and open materials as much as possible. I like education to be as low cost as possible for students. Um, I really try to recognize and teach uh, towards different learning styles. I try to prepare materials with an eye to accessibility and I'm always working to improve Prove that. I always like to add extra demos and links to tutorials to go with any book and um, materials related work that are already provided for the class. I tend to be available by email daily, although I usually will take one weekend day off just for a breather. And then I am currently at Shoreline Community College. I'll have an online um, or an on site um, office time each week. Um, basically, when it comes to information for you, and for online classes that I teach, I try to have as much information as accessible as possible for you. Some of my videos, like this one, will be based on PowerPoint so I can keep a, clo a close structure and you can hear my voiceover for the audio and read the text. Some videos will be live examples. So for instance, if I'm doing an Outlook class, I'll open up the program and demonstrate how certain things are done. Um, I will try to have closed captioning in my videos, however, the first or second time I use use the video, I'm perfecting it, and it's very time consuming to get them um, closed captioned. So at this time, bear with me as I slowly get that process in order. But I do strive for any video tasks and actions that I offer to be self-evident um, to the students who are watching, even if they aren't able to hear them. Um, basically, when I do videos, I will focus on introducing the topic, demonstrating a main method of how to view or accomplish something. I'll explain details as they're needed um, to help flesh out what it is you need to do and to looking for issues that might come up. I will try to offer alternatives, but I don't want to confuse issues. There's usually more than one or two ways to accomplish anything, particularly in your Microsoft tools, your Adobe graphic and creative design tools, and so on, but I don't want to confuse anyone with too many options. And then occasionally I will pause so that you have a spot 
to pause the video and try something else on your own. Learning styles is something that's really been useful to me. Learning styles basically means that we each have different ways we are best at absorbing information so that it makes sense to us, so that's more interesting than not. So for instance, I am not good at just reading um, information and doing workbook assignments. It bores me to death. I also have trouble for, with extended lectures. I just get sleepy no matter how interesting the topic is or how proficient the instructor is. Others um, are like like me in that they like to um, see something tried out, then they like to try working it on themselves. Some people work solo um, best and others really like teamwork. So what I've done here is I have provided a link um, to Ed Edutopia, Multiple Intelligences Self-Assessment. I'm not actually sure you'll be able to click this link through the video, but you can look this up. And what it will do is it will take you to this website where you can take a multiple intelligences self-assessment for yourself. That's what they're calling it now, but it's essentially a fancy way of saying learning styles. It'll give you a chance to see if it gives you tips on ways that you'll be better able to absorb info and maybe why you don't absorb certain types of info and um, lectures that you have had in the past that weren't that enjoyable. But overall, my goal is to try to make classes and information um, fun, interesting, useful, and I will try to keep my videos short and punchy so I don't talk you to death. So thank you so much for joining my class and I am looking forward to working with you. Thank you so much and have a great day.